Annyeong. Konnichi, what's up? This episode of I Have Notes is sponsored by ExpressVPN. No VPN? Why not? Go to expressvpn.com slash rttv to get one. Uh, you guys can join the community by creating a free Rooster Teeth account and be part of chat. Yeehaw. And uh, hello, welcome to the show. I have notes. I'm your host, Issa Badiola. I have notes is a show where a bunch of us with a surprisingly long list of IMDb credits come together to talk all things animation, being creative, and Caden's accomplishments. No, no. <laughs> I am I joined <laughs> by we my We don't know who that is lovely, yet. We don't know who it is yet. I'm joined by my lovely co-host, <laughs> Carrie Shawcross. Hello. I, it is I, the lovely co-host. You know, at some point you would think the IMDb page would be less surprising, but it's not. Every time, <laughs> every it continues time. to be more and more surprising. Uh, we are joined by two very lovely, well, one lovely guest, and also Jordan Sweers. <laughs> Annyeong. What? I just wanted to leave like a long, like, like I, we're, we'll put some applause in post. Don't worry, we have a budget. On why? You know, just because I think it'd be good. It's tis the season. And also, the special guest, Caden Jensen. Hello. <laughs> your last uh, name always trips me up. More than your first name. Somehow. Really? Well, Why? I, I want to I want to say Jensen. Yeah, don't mm. do that. That's and I won't, because it's not your name. Either. It's Z. Um, it is. You just need oh, to remember, she's Jen Zen. Jen yeah. Zen. Ah. Zen. 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 <laughs> just like State. Jordan, not mm. Jordan. Wow. No, I, it could be Jordan, though. I, I just. I don't want to talk about it. I just realized why your show could also be called Stay Zen as well. Yeah, that's. Oh. <laughs> that would be. Isa just got it. I got Issa it. Just, I, Issa, really? <laughs> I. I got it. Now this is brought up, <laughs> and we and I'm gonna be honest. We may have already talked about this uh, because my my memory is that of a goldfish, um, and I'm sure we had other things to talk about, but I don't care. Um, <laughs> what's after Gen Z? Oh yeah, it loops back around. Gen yeah, A. it, go, oh, it Gen goes A. to Gen A A because we already <laughs> yeah. went through the alphabet. No, because so. we're A one, A two, A three. Yeah. yeah, it's like a spreadsheet. I, I, I kind of like I kind of like Gen Zen. Gen that oh be, Gen Zen. Oh, That'd be yeah. a very chill Gen. I mean Gen you Z. Want, you are, don't want this last name. You don't want it. They're pretty hyped up. You don't want the last name. I don't know that you don't. Any of our last names are are particularly easy. I think yours is probably easiest. To carry. Yours you, is definitely at least easiest. yours. You would think. Mm. And I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm not trying to compare our stripes here. I will just say that. <laughs> yes, uh, go on. Tell me about how it's difficult. I will just say that a surprising number of people have messed up Shawcross in my life. Uh, you would yeah, think but... that it would be. I'm sure that mine is still the easiest to do. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Jordan's kind of just looks like somebody accidentally scrabble a little bit. That's it. Which oh, is why well, that. A... Which is why that banner that. <laughs> oh is yeah. In stage five. They is fucked so up your funny first name. They didn't how do you fuck name. up my first name? Like Jordan. they got my last name it was right. So funny. But they called it Jordan. Yeah. How's how's working in that that little office? You know, I I don't know. I haven't been there in a year. I guess yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows true. about that, right, Shirley? The, Shirley? the big giant. Oh yeah, it's a. <laughs> I'm well. I'm happy to tell the story. Um, I go love ahead. That. I'm I sure. I'm sure people don't. Story. Yeah. So but I'm just gonna. I'm gonna get inundated with Jordans now. Go we ahead. went to a convention. Jordan had a giant banner of his name. And you face, don't have to put me up here. <laughs> but it said Jordan instead of Jordan, and we may or may not have stolen the banner and brought it back to the so office like, and put yeah. it over. So like we all had our own banners, and yeah, everyone was else's fine. names was spelled correctly. <laughs> yeah, and then Miles and Carrie took it upon themselves to take it and <laughs> hang now it up. It's hanging above my office. <laughs> Yeah, what's funny is at the time that was the 2D office and it was mm -hmm. funny to put it there. And then we and moved then we out moved. and they didn't <laughs> stay that with them. It, yeah, just, and it stayed. just stayed. And now there. I like to imagine there are people who don't get it or know the joke that people don't see know it every day. It's like, who is this person? Who just Why is that there? Yeah. I, what, the if best part look at his is IMDb like page. That, IMDb page. <laughs> that no, it won't work. <laughs> all of those offices had, or like a lot of them, they're, they're just set flats and like they had like a window. Yeah. So Jordan was sitting in front of a window. Right. And that above used to be it where I would sit. was a giant poster of himself. <laughs> but now nobody is there. No. 
No, so. it's just an empty, sad room. No computers are there. Everything's just... We need to go take it. Once we get back to the office, we take it. We How about this? It. Socially distanced heist. We all oh. go stay six feet apart. Secret heist. And we steal the poster from our own office. <laughs> How's yes. that going to work, though? Like, John Mace is going to know that when we go John in John Mace there. won't catch us. Come uh, on. We're pretty squirt. He won't catch all of us. <laughs> he will but that's catch... why it's a team heist. <laughs> it is a team we heist. Need we a, always yeah, have to we need somebody a... behind. <laughs> Sorry, Jordan. Yeah. What? Yeah. No. Jordan, what? I am also then going to go hang it at your house. <laughs> I'm going to hang it on the outside of your house. That's fine, because then you'll leave, and I'll just go out and take it. Okay. That's you. <laughs> hey, how is everyone doing? Uh, I guess quick note, uh, just in case anything then seems weird later, uh, we are pre-recording this because we are all uh, taking a holiday break. Um, so uh, we are pre-recording this a couple weeks before. Um, so, uh, man, I hope the world doesn't somehow get worse. Uh, but how's, ev- how's everybody's week been? Uh, what Any fun holiday plans y'all would like to talk about? I um, This... This week has been a constant um, waking up and thinking, wait, is today Friday? And then being disappointed yeah. with the answer. Me too. So, everyone else, right? <laughs> yeah. Caden no. and I were talking about this before. Yeah. <laughs> every day this week, every day this week, I'm just like, oh, no, it's Saturday. And I'm just like, no, 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 wait, no, wait. No. No, no, no. I... It's, it's, it's Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> I, I can deal with that. It's Wednesday, like, my dudes. This morning, this morning, I was just like, I had to check my phone four times because I'm just like, I'm pretty sure it's Saturday. Maybe my <laughs> phone's wrong. And I restarted my phone because my brain is just like rejecting all realities. That I was it is not Saturday also today. convinced that today was Saturday. Like I had a dream that today was Saturday <laughs> last I, night. I had, I was in a meeting. We recorded this on Friday. I was in a meeting Thursday night. I mean, it was like 630. And I was like, I mean, if we just said tomorrow if we all acted like tomorrow was saturday it would be saturday now technically yeah it would just week be saturday days of the week are social constructs yeah i mean <laughs> <laughs> like if we just all agreed <laughs> i think they're roman constructs but i what get are they what gonna, you're saying if we all just said <laughs> next friday was saturday are they, are they gonna fire the world i don't think so <laughs> You know what? Friday, Fridays true. are gone. Saturday is now 48 hours long. There you go. Boom. Wow. Whoa. I love this idea. What a concept. <laughs> a 48 hours Saturday. <laughs> Saturday one, Saturday two. <laughs> I, I like that. Hey, hang on a second. I like that. that, that we're getting now, good. would that be... Just now, one day okay. of the week is like twice as long as the other. <laughs> y'all, y'all know me. I love me I love me some day, uh, day theory reconstruction. Oh, um, yes. Mm-hmm. If one day was 48 hours... Mm-hmm. Would there be well? Would there be two breakfasts, or would we just have a? Would there, would the morning be longer? Or would we have two mornings? No, Carrie, it's not one day. Here. We can go with Hobbit rules. <laughs> Second breakfast, elevensies uh, only on Saturday. Eleven, you gotta have eleven. Only on Saturday. Yes. <laughs> Yes. I spit all over my screen. <laughs> you can have Me Saturday morning difference. cartoons, and then Saturday morning cartoons. Two. Again, <laughs> yeah, that would be an interesting like concept for a day. That's it's twice as long, but it's not two day night cycles. It's just drawn <laughs> out over a forty eight hour period. Like your your afternoon is like really from like six p.m. to six a.m. Oof. <laughs> I don't so, know if I like that anymore. <laughs> I, I guess like uh, well, we're not this, working, so it's fine. Right? Yeah, and I guess that's like a, a siesta at that would actually kind of just be like. Oh a six-hour siesta, you know what I mean? Oh my God. How would Oof. how would measuring time work if you're on a 12-hour I mean, clock? Let's go back eight. to what Issa said. Time is a social construct. <laughs> <laughs> but Do how you would you know what time it is on, on whatever this 48-hour Saturday is? <laughs> let, me, let me ask a question. Hey, let me ask a question. Okay. 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 Social constructs be damned. Um, Hell yeah. Bold statement, I know. <laughs> um, Tear down that patriarchy. Yes. <laughs> so let's say... You didn't have to worry about anything, right? You didn't have to be anywhere at any certain time, per se. Okay, I, I'm rich. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> would, All my worries are gone. Do you think you would still have, like, a fairly normal sleep schedule? Or do you think you, all, all hell breaks loose? 
Um, Ooh. what like, would you still York? go to bed around like, but sometime between 10 and two and wake up between like six and 10 based okay. on how <laughs> all of my summers went, I would say all hell would break loose. <laughs> I, I immediately, I think I would fall into that. What is that? Like by circadian rhythm mm. where mm-hmm. like, I would just like, Oh, I'm tired. I'll sleep now. And then wake up and do shit. <laughs> and then, Oh, I'm tired. Okay. But you know, like I would just like no caffeine, no anything just i'm tired now i'll go to sleep i'm awake now i'm awake that's it i mean that's like the ultimate goal is sleep when when you want to sleep but i was gonna say it's like what is a normal sleep schedule especially after everything it's like i don't sleep i don't do the sleep thing anymore it's like two hour nap and then it's like okay cool i'm gonna take a nap at like two o'clock in the morning then i'm up at four and then old i can't do that (laughs) you're not wait how old are you old enough i'm Come 20 on. i'm uh my body my body is aged 29 and a half years okay okay my Cause... soul <laughs> my soul is in my 40s okay that's fair my alarm I'm, is going I'm off older than you yeah we're too fucking old to do that kate and yet i'm here Kaden's doing not, it apparently sleep is, <laughs> yeah, sleep, is, sleep is a social construct Carrie. <laughs> I can't just like, keep calling everything a social construct yeah. you i guys. mean isn't it though <laughs> most things are jordan it's true and once you realize know, that you i don't really know just sleep one is of, though burn it down <laughs> yep you know I think I think everybody just is like everything's a social construct. Gender is fired. We're gonna just throw that <laughs> away. Nobody fired. wants that. <laughs> yeah. I, Money, social construct, throw that away. Everybody's just doing favors for each other because everybody's <laughs> nice now. Yeah. Welcome Going, to twenty twenty one. Everybody's what, nice now. What was I like that? What did they oh go back to the bartering system, guys? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. <laughs> do you guys remember when Greece had a financial collapse and their money was worthless and so they started bartering like they would just use favors for each other as payment like you know you come tutor my kid uh i'll give you these fruits and vegetables that i have like that happened for a little bit in like 2009 (laughs) i'm starting to worry about this actually (laughs) i have no skills Uh oh i have no marketable helpful skills to other people here's what you do Listen, you you are a masterful storyteller, okay? So when it comes when it comes to that, when everybody's just like, oh, down, they're done, and everything's like, we need we need a new tale, we need a new a, a fantastical story. Please, Carrie, we have this food for you. Please tell us an amazing story. <laughs> and I'll be like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> I don't know why I, I would I would gain weight because of all the food at the beginning. Oh, okay. okay. Um, I would, I'd probably like go into construction or something if that happened. When we were talking about um, days of the week, Mm -hmm. it just reminded me of that one episode of Doug, where they, Quail Man like has a invents an eighth day of the week called Fun Day. (laughs) That's it. Okay. (laughs) That's it. (laughs) Now I'm not remembering this. Do Do you guys remember that? I I don't. But it sounds like a Doug episode. <laughs> I'm already there was a ready quail to commit, man but go ahead. Episode. Walk us through fun day. Uh, no, I forgot what happens. I just remember. Okay, okay. Now, is it? It's not, it's not Sunday, and you just say fun day, right? Like, it is an eighth day? It's an eighth day of the week, yeah. So after Sunday comes fun day. Okay. okay. And then Monday. So I this isn't a Saturday, Catterday situation, right? Oh, uh, No. <laughs> No, this is, is. No. Okay. It's, an, okay. it's a whole new day for mm-hmm. fun specifically. It's I not have like a... we're getting rid of I'd like Friday. That. I would like that. <laughs> oh, I, I think that. weekends should be three days long because by so the time like oh, Saturday is your decompression day and then Sunday you're like, I got all these chores to do and your weekend's <laughs> over. My, you didn't get to do anything. My my Twitter is just turning into a, a, a four day work week stand profile at this point. Yeah, the moment the moment you said that, Jordan, I was like, "Oh, Carrie's turned on right now." <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, uh, Jordan. I agree. I would uh, I would much rather uh, work slightly longer, four day weeks, and then have three days. Yeah, just give me that time back. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, sorry, I can't get too excited on on air. Um, but yeah, cut I, away from I, Carrie. Uh, I'm a fan. Yeah, it's just it's the problem is it's just gonna take. It's not like a single company. It's not like a single industry. It's just it's gotta oh, take yeah. like everybody just doing it, and it's 
mm-hmm. hard. If we all just Dude, start doing it, what are they going to do? Fire the world? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if we just don't show up on Friday anymore and we say, hey, we already did it through Thursday. Everything's done. We did it all. Now Friday is a part of the weekend. That's yeah. just how it works. That's it. That's it. I just, I hear so many stories about people like in, uh, especially in like office jobs who like, they're like, eh, what, I don't, I don't even work on Friday really. It's like, oh yeah. Okay. Let's just make it official. Yeah. yeah. No kidding. What? Yeah. <laughs> also what? <laughs> not, yeah, not, not at art, like not in production, but like, I don't know. Like I just, uh, anecdotally, oh, it's always yeah. like Fridays. It's, it's like, like, ah, you know, fuck off around noon. It's, it's a like, casual Friday. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's like, yeah. what? Wait, 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 how, what? What How? magic is this? What do you what mean you're not in meetings you... <laughs> from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m.? What are you talking about? <laughs> what is it like to live without anxiety? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Dude, shout out to those Alabama Amazon workers that are unionizing. <gasps> really? Ooh, Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Are they going to go they'll, they'll probably They'll finally have one-day weekends, probably. <laughs> those, Can uh, you guys hear the ice cream truck, truck that's driving that by? Is, I feel like it's parked outside. It was at house. Bezos' expense, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll make fun of him all day. I mean, I still, oh, please do, please. I still order oh, no, Amazon because I'm a bad person, but I'll make fun of Bezos. I I saw somebody say um, being a billionaire is a moral failing, where it's like you have more money than you'll ever need, and you're just hoarding this wealth. Like oh, yeah. that's a moral like, shortcoming. So. Um, Nobody needs like, that much money. Exactly. No Billionaires shouldn't it. exist. They should be giving that money to either charities or like whatever. Or uh, investing it, be, it into their taxed. employees and the growth exactly. of the industry or anything. Billionaires. Higher wages. <laughs> exactly. Like, going to get me started on this. <laughs> uh, Mackenzie, <laughs> Mackenzie Bezos. I don't know what her maiden name is now, but um, she has donated four billion dollars in four months to charity that's hell since, yeah since her divorce Go for and it. she got since all that divorce. all that money yeah um so she's trying so that's good i but i'm in i'm in the same boat and i i i know people vehemently will disagree and like i do i do understand this like want of like uh, we're getting i don't know if we're getting way too political here but like i, I understand this want of like you you earned it like that's what people it's like two people it's yeah. you earned it it's yours you should be able to have it but also here's a concept you wealth probably, you didn't earn it is the other thing wealth is not necessarily merit based mm. yes yeah like people no, no always kidding. draw that conclusion <laughs> of mm-hmm. oh he's a successful businessman he must be a good person or he's no. earned it that's not necessarily the case always <laughs> i i honestly i i feel like socially we all immediately assume the opposite. Mm. Yeah. If, I, if I find out somebody's a billionaire. I mean, if if movies have taught me anything, the person with the billions of dollars oppressing their workers is a bad person. Can, <laughs> They're uh, always yeah. the villain. I really just want to say that, like, Elon Musk in particular is just like... <sighs> Dude, that guy. I mean, he, sh- he that is, guy needs to stop. He's a super <laughs> villain. <laughs> <laughs> but he I, doesn't realize it. He's just like, no, I'm totally the hero of the story. It's like, what story? What are you yeah. talking about? You like? S- it's because I'm, people well, people are fans of the things he does. And, he like, doesn't do creates, that. No, <laughs> people need to but learn like, that part. But like, he he himself didn't necessarily come up with these ideas. No, he didn't, right. and he took over the company. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I. This is like a this. We talked about this, I think, a little bit at the end of the last episode that we recorded. This is like a, a moral quandary I have where I like what Tesla has done for the industry, mm-hmm. right? That is very good. Mm-hmm. I also don't like Elon Musk. <laughs> I, I don't like Elon Musk, but in the, the middle, the middle thing that I feel weird about, and like, maybe y'all can help me phrase this if I don't phrase it well, is that when to to revolutionize an industry i don't know how you do it without being kind of weird and without mm. i don't want to say pushing people but pushing concepts mm. so i feel like mm-hmm. it does take somebody like him to do that but i also don't yeah. want to then hold them up permanently exactly does that, do, like put them does, put them on a pedestal and and be like yeah you, like yeah. nobody has ever achieved their full like I'm a flawless individual 
Like no, now, and I now, definitely now don't that agree I've, with a lot of what he's done either. Yeah, like now that I've given society this thing, you must revere me for all time. I am above reproach and infallible. Yeah, which is how all people always end up treating celebrities and you know people yeah. in the public space in general. Um, it's like I just I wish know. he would just what do you guys shut think? up. <laughs> like that would that would do that would go a long way. <laughs> It's because it's like he's doing great stuff with cars. Uh, solar roofs are great. SpaceX is mm-hmm. awesome. Shut up. Yeah, but stop <laughs> though. And work. Like it does take a certain type of person to do that to achieve that stuff and, 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 and push those things forward. But that's the weird thing. Yeah, that's that's where it's we're like not I don't, indebted yeah. to him. Like we don't owe him anything for that. No. <laughs> no. In fact, he He's owes... He's not your friend. Jeff Bezos yes, and Elon yes. Musk, they are you not go. your friends. No need to Do defend not, them don't like they are. You need to defend them on Twitter. They have billions of dollars. Yeah. I can't believe people are even defending Bezos. I can understand um, Musk because I feel like there's like a, a weird no. fan club around him. Um, but <laughs> Jeff Bezos... Yeah, who's a like, Jeff who, Bezos who, stan? Who'd want to you'd defend be surpri- him? You'd, you'd be no. surprised. Uh, if yeah, I defend yeah. him, maybe he'll give me some of his many, many dollars. He won't. Oh, I see. He no, hates you. He won't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just it's it's weird when you like you like People... what a person it's weird when you like the end result, but you don't like the person and you don't necessarily like how they got there. Mm. And people always want to champion billionaires and successful businessmen because they see themselves as reaching that point someday. Right. Mm. Yeah. It's just like I'm I'm just not a billionaire yet. I've I fucking love <laughs> all of the memes that have been if uh if you're worried about X, you don't need to be worried about the tax cuts. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, or the tax the tax rising. Uh, there was like the if you have like that popcorn ceiling, you don't need to be because <laughs> yeah. I, I my house has that. It's just like oh oh there was one yeah where like this it was like if your door looks like this you don't need to worry about it. And I think it was a TikTok where a guy like looks at his door and it's like the same door and he's like damn yeah <laughs> yeah I don't know I yeah. Long story short, I don't understand what you need with more than a billion dollars. Just give it away, reinvest there's it. There's a uh, there's an article that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar of all people posted. Ugh, I don't know what publication it was because this is just an Apple News link. Uh, I want to <laughs> say it was the Hollywood Reporter, but he has a great line. Um, it has to do with like people who are in the public eye, and then like you know, for lack of a better term, think they're infallible and say one of their things that they believe that society doesn't like Mm -hmm. and rightfully get raked uh, over the coals for them. And he uses uh, Howard Hughes as an example early on where like Mm. he contributed to filmmaking and aviation, but everyone only remembers that he like collected his toenail clippings in a Mason jar. (laughs) So he ends, he ends this piece like with this and it says great success in one field can lead to the delusion that all your thoughts are great. It doesn't help to be surrounded by fawning people whose job it is to agree with everything you say. And I wish I could get it to load because there's a part that's where a, it's a like weird thing to put a quote. He he <laughs> he ends it with saying like they excrete their opinion into mason jars or something like that. Oh I don't have gosh. it exactly, but it's so <laughs> savage. Let me see if I can I can find it. I can't click on so this. So now I just wanted to clarify because actually I don't think I knew as much about this as I probably should have. Um, it's not uh-huh. good to keep your toenail clippings in a mason jar. Oh my god! Carrie. I'm not. No, I, I mean, he's not no saying that. Here. Nobody's we're, we're saying that. that. Yeah. Okay. Like that is, is that starting it a problem or is filling I mean, the jar we're not a gonna, problem? Nobody here is going to yuck your yum, Carrie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You do you, man. I'm not doing this just for the record. I just <laughs> I'm here. I just wanted to understand. You know societal norms. Let's talk about. You know where are they? Turn, turn constructs. Constructs. Where where are they? <laughs> They're all. It's all constructs. Maybe, maybe we need social today. constructs so we don't have mason jars. Oh god, now I've turned. I don't know. <laughs> we don't. No. We don't. This is how they get you, Carrie. <laughs> yeah. Just keep your jar to yourself, and it's fine. I won't show it on stream. Yeah. Um. God, this I'm desperately is trying to get this article to load. The I'm weirdest sorry. fucking episode. <laughs> I'm ashamed. Um, it's great. Hey, you okay, invited, it's see, a, it says this. You invited me on, and every time I've been on the Inside Gaming podcast, it's just like, oh, look, here comes Caden talking about how big business is very bad and Let's not helping it. and not actually doing stuff. Is, is like, that just right, the vibe gonna... that you give, and then everyone just kind of ends up like 
latching onto it subconsciously. Uh, I'm glad that I give off that vibe. I'm happy that that's the vibe I give off. I'm I'm very pleased with that. In fact, that that makes me very happy. <laughs> George, did you, you, you did you say I, loaded? I, I have it if you guys are still interested. I, I just yes, feel like we're we'll here. Okay. Let's finish All right. this off. Their professional legacies could become brief footnotes to the memory of their collection of mason jars filled with their excreted opinions. Wow. Solid quote. Love it. The the pen is mightier than the basketball, Mr. Bar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Well, that's, that's, uh... that's, a, that's a take. <laughs> You went for it. I really okay. like that. I really like that, Jordan. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Isa, I'm did glad, you... I'm glad we finally got there. <laughs> I think you put in a, a thing about a new Chinese animation? Yes. So a couple of fun um, uh, movie news for yeah. next year, 2021. The Legend of Hay, a Chinese animation, um, a Chinese anime movie, I guess specifically, is uh, finally coming to North American theaters uh, next year. And Legend of Hay uh, was released uh, hmm, 2020. It was earlier this year. And it's based off of a popular web animated series. And you know how it's just like uh, like Webtoons is like Webtoons. Um, mm-hmm. And there's like neighbor, like there's these specific Asian sites that are uh, sure. sites from Asia that are like specifically for like watching videos. It's like Japan has their own version of YouTube or like China has their own version of YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, it's on there. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Um, it, was, it, was a, it was a Flash series. Yeah, uh, yeah pretty much. Uh, yeah, Legend he Hay... spent, apparently he spent five years adapting it from a Flash animation. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's it's, crazy. It's nuts. That's wild. It's it's pretty much a like kind of a, a fantasy. Whoa, I got like tinnitus right here. Um, it's a fan fantasy eee. supernatural fantasy combined into like throwing it into a modern day setting where all these different legends, I think, or like these different magical beings also appear in real life. Um, oh. In the main series, it really concentrates on this black cat, and you think it's like the misadventures of this one cat, but actually the series evolves, and it turns out they're about magical beings. Um, it's a really interesting way to kind of uh, really reel an audience in because you think it's like super sweet and it's just it's really cute animation really really good designs and then it's just like oh wait there's even more um, and so the the That's movies awesome. um, I probably some backstory um, for the actual web series um, there's some... a there's a great gif that po- uh, was posted on Twitter with some mm-hmm. like shots from the movie. Yeah. And the one where the little yeah. cat shows up, he's so yeah. angry. <laughs> that they, cat is they, so they angry. It to, he's uh, so angry. This Variety article compares it to uh, Princess Monoke and uh, Miori's Forest. Ooh. Um, Ooh. I love okay. I love the the Which, uh, the okay. design and yeah. the animation style. It looks really cool. It's really it looks really cool. pretty. Yeah. Uh, Are they gonna so... dub it, Isa? <laughs> Ooh. I only I... watch dubs, so uh... <laughs> I'm just curious. Shut up. Yeah, actually, I, I think yes, they should. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. okay. I was actually. It, yeah. it'll be, it'll be licensed for that. I got excited because uh, uh, we've worked with a couple people who were doing it, which is awesome. Oh, cool. how do you know so much about this? Because I clicked on the link. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. Did you what? Not, like, I read did the you, whole did you not thing. Do the research? Did you really, really? Yeah. Did you read it? Did you scroll all the way down? Hold on. Where it says for North American release, <laughs> and it starts listing all. You gotta, you gotta go past the jump, Jordan. Jordan. It's okay. Oh, okay. I see. Shout to Howard Wang. <laughs> I don't know any of these people. <laughs> Howard Wang How, plays uh, Whitley. He's. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't. You know have him. to know. Yeah, like, well, you, 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 yeah, you have not worked with Howard Wang. <laughs> yeah. You might have. Jordan. Uh, that's cool. I'm excited. But yeah. Um, um, the other another... exciting piece of news too. Yeah. Um, um, you want to take this it. one, Carrie? No, Ooh, absolutely. Me. Isa, all you. All me. Um, Mamoru Hosoda r- announced his newest movie for next year called Bell. Ooh. I will say the Japanese title is so much cooler. What is it? Uh, the Dragon and the Freckled Princess. Ooh. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, that is a way cooler Ryuto name. Sobakasu no Hime. Cool. Yeah, that I'm assuming cool. this does Arigato. seem... <laughs> Jordan, I'm, I will. <laughs> I will end Konnichiwa the show. So. <laughs> um, it's like one of those moments where it's like it's a good thing you're not within strangling distance. 
If, if we were in studio, I'd probably just like go like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just... If you're not uh, familiar with Posada, he did uh, Summer Wars, Wolf Children, Boy and the Beast, um, the Digimon movie. The Digimon um, movie. Love it. Uh, I actually haven't seen, uh, what was the one that he did? Oh, Mirai? Uh, Summer Wars? Yeah, Mirai. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, Mirai's good. Is it? Okay. Is it? Is it on yeah. Netflix? Or? I, I don't Another remember streams. where I watched it. <laughs> I, I have I the Blu-ray. It's, it's now. sitting on my entertainment center. And I just haven't watched it yet. I think it's on Netflix. I, I, I think, think it, it is. On, it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Um, but I haven't seen any, seen any of his movies, but I really do what? need to watch them. Especially what? Boy and the Beast. Yeah. Oh, man. Come on. I know. Jordan, I'm really behind Blu-ray's on it. Like, Maybe. Yeah. I know, you don't want to touch my stuff, I know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, his, his films typically kind of revolve around a, a relationship um mm-hmm. not in a uh, like romantic sense but you know like summer wars is very is that, that one's just kind of i feel like generally family oriented um wolf children is about you know a, a, a mother relationship boy and the beast is about a father relationship um so you know how paul thomas anderson's movies are all about like two people going through something yeah, or like Fast and the Furious like is about like family. family. No. Going through. <laughs> every time. Every time. <laughs> yeah. um, I was actually reading his Wikipedia article and uh, was interested in learning that he was originally slated to direct Howl's Moving Castle, but mm-hmm. um, the he had to leave the project due to creative differences. Ah, That's the old good. phrase. This <laughs> makes sense. This makes sense. Uh, it was strained due to creative differences. According to Hosada, he was, quote, uh, told to make the movie similar to how Miyazaki would have made it, but he wanted to make his own film the way he wanted to make it. So in the I end, mean, he yeah, laughed. Yeah. Kind of makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think, wasn't, that was probably around one of the times he was trying to retire. So he was probably like, hey, we're trying to uh, make yeah. people not we're trying scared to find about Miyazaki too. <laughs> But yeah, basically. Yeah, like, and they're like, carry on how about the torch? his son? And his son was like, eh. Uh, Miyazaki hates I mean, son. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Didn't he walk out of his son's movies like, this is oh, bad? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, like, 100% Asian dad right there. That sounds like <laughs> something John Landis would do with Max Landis's <laughs> movies. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just always, I mean, like, I feel bad. I just always got the impression that, that Moro didn't really <laughs> want to direct it, but kind of felt like forced to. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's did y'all know that, uh, Miyazaki that was directing another movie already? Yes. Yeah, I did not. Yeah. How do you live? He's that, retiring never and then unretiring and then retiring and unretiring, which is kind yeah. of the industry over there anyway. Yeah. It's like yeah. just stop saying it. Just being like, hey, I'm chilling out right now, but uh, yeah, I'll be back. They, but you can't do that. <laughs> <I'm chilling. laughs> it's not part of the culture, Carrie. Yeah, <laughs> let's start it. If I'm not doing anything, just... I'm retiring, and then when I'm going to do something, I am unretired again. That's it's fair. true. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at Wikipedia pages now. Um, yeah, guys, we, I'm retiring think, like, for two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I am also retiring for two weeks. Dude, if we think work culture here is bad, Japan probably has it oh, yeah. a million times yeah. worse. Yeah. Um, so well, hey, speaking of just more things, uh, we're we're excited about. I wanted to, you know, end of the year. I want to not do the talk about how shitty 2020 is. Um, what, Guys, what is, did you know it was a bad year? Did you know? Who fucking cares? Hey, <laughs> 2020 has been really hard on all of us. Oh, um, come on. Oh, this is Carrie, you did me. this exact bit last episode. I did, but... Uh, Why, Carrie? What happened? Let's talk about 2021. Let's talk about let's some things we're it. excited about for 2021. Uh, Fresh air, sunlight. You can uh, have that now, Jordan. Um, no, there's, it's cloudy outside. Come on. Yeah. I have one, actually. Go for it, Issa. Um, you guys will hate me for saying this. Uh, nope. But uh, I'll love you more. Time... That, that means I will. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it does. It does. It's good. a good time to remind you guys uh, that there are new subscription gift cards. That's Hell yeah. Mr. Yeah, baby. <laughs> 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 you can gift first membership subscriptions with a digital gift card. Uh, spread the love and community by gifting some subscriptions to your favorite people. Uh, get caught up on Ruby Volume 8 uh, during this time, and also get the latest on RVB Zero. That team is kicking so much ass, and you should watch Hell that yeah. show that they made. It's so cool. It's very, I think very, by the time this good. episode comes out, the finale will be out, so you can watch the whole thing. Exactly. Yep. And we are uh, mid-hiatus for Ruby Volume yes. 8. Yes. Yes. And we... 
appreciate the support that you're giving us because you're definitely giving us support. Uh, he says from the future. Um, but I, I, well, I, I also, because you, you, when we posted about it, uh, you gave us support. So I'm just assuming it's carrying over. You can also watch Recorded by Arizal. Oh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, uh, because it's very good. I don't know it's if it's announced yet, but Isa, I bought this interesting... with my own money. I just want you to know that. Oh, I'm so happy for you. To get I did get, exactly. I did get our I... giant discount, but I did buy it with my own money. Carrie, I bought it with 25 percent say... of my money. <laughs> Carrie, uh, when you showed up with that shirt, I'm just like, I wore that exact shirt for my pre-recording for the last episode. Of the season. I'm just like, Hell I'm yeah. bringing Arzal energy into 2021. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Oh. I. I picked that shirt specifically because I just oh, was like, thanks. I'm carrying this into 2021 with me because this yes. was great. This is amazing. Oh, thanks, Kate. <laughs> Issa, did you have? Did you actually have one too, or was it? It was. Yeah, the, what are you uh, looking forward to? I want. No, it was. It was the read. I did. Here's the Jordan. thing I'm excited about. Jordan, you did. You were gonna say something. Jordan, no, here's you. the thing. Jordan's Don't excited about. about. Oh, I was. I was gonna say that during the. Uh, mid-season break uh we have some cool stuff coming out to yeah. tide you over every week uh That's true. probably this may have not been announced yet <laughs> we're, we're we uh we, yeah we don't we, we don't have to get into specifics but we, we we realize that it's a longer break than normal so we're gonna try and bring you some extra content uh to to you know just just keep you feeling warm and fuzzy um until we can get back to uh airing regularly um but you know in that meantime if you maybe haven't uh caught up completely on the season um or if you have a friend that was maybe like waiting till the end like maybe you can just poke them to go ahead and do it now it's a good time to get caught up um yeah tldr good stuff good stuff we coming. appreciate it <laughs> um here's something i'm excited about in 2021 hollow knight silk song hopefully Woo-hoo! <laughs> fingers crossed maybe, fingers crossed possibly. oh I want it I'm so bad. I'm replaying that right now i'm replaying hollow knight are you? right now it's, so, it's good. so good it's so good it's such a great Absolutely. I'd kill, for, I'd kill for an animated series of that. <gasps> I, I absolutely die for an animated series of that because it's so good. I, if I could just pick a series to work on, it would be that. It would be that. Um, but yeah, we uh, uh, hopefully we haven't heard about like any news on the game in a while, which actually makes me hopeful mm. that you know they, they're they're gonna like drop like a big update and like tell us exactly what's coming out. I want them to take their time if it needs to be 2022. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we've all learned very recently that taking your time is better. Um, yeah, not 2077. But, yeah, but uh, when uh, when it's ready to come out, oh, I'm excited to play it. If it's next year, oh, that'd be very good. That'd be very good. Um, 2021. So I'm very excited for that. Who else is excited for something in 2021? I'm excited you... for uh, I'm excited for one of my favorite uh, my favorite visual novels slash manga series to finally get an anime. <laughs> so I'm a spider. So what is coming out? In, <laughs> let's see, in a couple weeks, I think. Uh, by the time this is airing, it's I think January eighth is when it's going to start airing in Japan, which means <gasps> any moment after that, we're probably going to get uh, get it. It's either simul sub or simul dub, which would be super awesome. Now, now, Kate, and... now I'm gonna need a little assistance. Can you? Can you say just the title again? Because uh, it was in the so middle I'm of a sp- sentence, and I just couldn't tell where the title started and ended. <laughs> so I'm a spider. So what? Okay. So what? And that's so the I'm title of it, so and not a sentence you're saying. Got it. Got it. And Jordan it- and I only know this particular series because of the light novel game that we played. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't I know think it was one of the really first good. episodes really of By Its Cover. Yeah. I want to. I want to see a spin-off series. Uh, uh, I'm a scorpion. Forget about it. <laughs> is it? Is it from the first person of a tiny spider? It. It. It's not necessarily. Well, yeah, kind of to a degree. Uh, it's. It's an isekai okay. girl and her isekai. entire class. They all die, and that's like the opening. It's just like everybody's dead immediately. It's like it dun, opens dun, on dun, on dun, like a black dun, screen. Dun, dun. And it's just like so. I'm dead. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And then, and then you're probably wondering like, how I got here. Right. It really is like it's it's dark. So and what? She's just like very so confused. What? And then she realizes, oh wait, I'm not dead anymore. I think. And then starts like moving these limbs around her, and then pushes out. And it was the darkness was the egg that she was inside, and she hatches, and she's this spider now. And now she has to live in this. You know, it's very 
traditional magical nonsense world. But she figures out that she played a lot of games and she's just like, well, I can kind of manipulate this to my, my benefit because I'm this spider and these creatures evolve in different ways. So if I just kill a couple people, you know, kill a couple of these monsters, I can get like fire resistance and poison resistance and all that sort of, so she starts gaming the system and I love that. It's just like, she plays it very, very clean and you don't actually get any like additional side characters for quite some time, hmm. which is mm. very unusual for an isekai where yeah. usually it's just like, mm -hmm. I got isekai and now here's my harem, which, you know, that's cool, I guess, but she's, yeah. it's a very different type of uh, isekai, which I very, very, very much like. I know people are tired of isekais, but they're can, good. Can, they're still good. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, go for it. Is it like a sexy spider? <laughs> you know what, Carrie? Hold on a second. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you a message. To, I'm gonna send you a message, and you're gonna be just like, oh. Does the spider, does the spider have boobs? That's I all. mean, I just want to know. I mean, I just want to know if the spider has boobs. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying that I'll I'm pro way. or against anything. I'll, 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 I'll say this. I'll say Jordan, this. Jordan. At the beginning, at the beginning, no, because tiny little spider, okay? Tiny oh. little spider. But, you know, uh, as things go, I'm going to send this to you and you're going to just lose your mind. I'm actually right. going to post, post it. He, wait. Please I do. Can post it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to just post it here. Are you, you going to post it in the Discord? Yeah, of course. Let's go full, uh, full, full camera Jordan, please. Full camera Jordan. I want to get his reaction. Oh. Full camera Jordan. Right there. Which one's the spider? The one in the middle that's connected to the spider, my dude. Wait, oh, the connected. she does have boobies. What? I love her, so, by the way. I love her. It's like a centaur. She's so great. Like, is that what the spider always so looks great. like? No, because in well, the no. first book, she was just a spider with anime eyes. Yeah, she's just a tiny little spider. And she goes, uh, her, her name is Kumoko. And she starts off as this little tiny les lesser tesseract, this little tiny spider. I legit and thought then, you were going to say a tiny lesbian. And I was just like, that's why I, I, no, I no, thought no, that no. was going to. Here, here's where she, yeah, she, <laughs> hold on. I have, I have plenty of images. See, that's look, what there she, she starts is. looking like. Aw, that's cute. Yeah. Oh, see, that one I recognize. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lesbian. Like that. and we'll, we'll, <laughs> I mean, without getting into spoilers, I guess, like, so that means at some point a, a sexy person bursts out of her abdomen. <laughs> I mean, technically it's like, eh, it's closer to her, her, her head. You're right. Um, I'm, I'm, so I'm such an idiot. Does that You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so the Jordan, one thing we know you? about spiders is that they have eight legs. So then does that mean she has ten? Because she has no. Is that is it's that the arms. thing you're thinking about the most right now? Is that two, is that really the arms. thing that you're focusing on? <laughs> <laughs> She's got legs for days. Her. Is is what's happening here? All right, that's all she needs. And I'm assuming I'm this is Cole's days. favorite. Uh, Jordan's show. not looking at the boobs. Is his uh, primary? <laughs> I <laughs> was surprised. I know Cole was surprised that I knew this, and I'm just like, do you have any idea how much I love like cryptids and monsters and mythology and all that stuff? This is my jam. It's I, like I got turned into a spider and now I'm just gonna like eat dragons and stuff and then turn into this. Absolutely, 100%. I, I can't stop Kaden, looking. Kaden, I feel like you're like a grab bag when it comes to like what you like. If, when I hear, <laughs> when you're like, oh, I'm so into this. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I have, I have, have a post. <laughs> I have a post on Tumblr that has like 100,000 notes, which explains my, my gripes with one of my favorite Disney movies ever, which is Robin Hood. Mm -hmm. I have big oh, problems right. with it. I love that movie. And I've decided one day, I'm just like, I'm gonna sit down and like formulate my, my concepts on this and everything. And I post it and I'm just like, this is gonna get zero notes. Nobody's gonna care. Yeah. People care. <laughs> no, people, people care. care. People, people care. care. Pe yeah. People Very love uh, analytic essays on Tumblr. <laughs> yeah. It's really the all, only complaint I, I have all the about time. that movie, besides it being like completely, in, you know, not faithful to the source material whatsoever, I have issues with it. I have issues. He's a fox. <laughs> That's how Robin Hood but works. How is Maid Marian a fox when <laughs> there, when her relatives are lions? And mm, I don't no. say this simply because oh, there's a lineage there and everything like that. It's because I want a six foot tall lion woman dating this four foot tall fox man because that oh, is mm. more fun. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I see. I mean, they never talk about the fact that the mailman was a fox. That's what happened. 
Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. I, I can't. I, I can't, okay, I want to go back to Spider real quick. Can I? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it matters. I'm mm-hmm. I'm just curious because this is such a, a new concept to me. Does she have other parts? <laughs> oh my god, Carrie! I what just does she have other parts. I like. How, does the human part stop at the the tummy there? <laughs> I just. Does it stop at the tummy? I just. I just have. It's just not what I thought it was gonna be. I, I mean, isn't that good though? If you, yeah, if you expect yeah. something and it's it's, it's it ch- changes how you feel about it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what? I, I'm just I'm just happy it exists. Okay. That's where I'm at with it. I'm just happy I'm, that it exists. I'm, I'm happy that you're happy. I'm just I I am very I am interested in the series now. Not for any reason. I'm, I'm I'm glad I'm glad and I'm glad you you appreciate uh, the the spider wife. I'm I'm so how, happy. How how can you not? If you'd like to borrow the visual novels, then I I, 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 okay. I will lend them to you. They're very good. You, you know what? Uh, not to sound weird, Caden, I think I might want to watch this one. <laughs> please, please uh, watch it. I might. <laughs> watch it. I think I would prefer the visual aspect. Okay. Yeah, all right. Winter Maybe I might 2021. Have a, have a chat with Cole about. Uh, oh, yeah, baby. Uh, some spider stuff. Some spiders. Yeah, we'll start. We'll start Listen. a Slack group called "We're Attracted to Spiders." <laughs> so with what? Kaden so and what? Yeah, so, so what? what? So what? <laughs> please, please invite me to that. Yeah, no, yeah, that's good. It's hundred percent full, there full for intention that, that you'll yeah. be there. Kid. You're you're on the first invite. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what while are you're you talking about spiders, to, I was Gordon? I was well, I was trying to think of what's happening in 2021, um, and so I brought up this article that. It doesn't have all of the movies, but it's 74 most anticipated movies of 2021. I'm not going to watch 74 movies in the year, so it might as well be all of the movies. We were <laughs> we were talking about this before, and I mentioned that a Rugrats movie is on this list. Um, and I thought it was going to be a Nickelodeon Studios, uh, another animated piece, because those movies were pretty, like, I wouldn't say they're good, but they're, like, well well done. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Here's what it says. January 29th, 2021. Oh, Tommy, whoa. Chucky, and the rest of the gang are back. Details are scarce with David Bowers at the helm as director. This new live action remake oh, for the classic what? Nickelodeon cartoon is bound to be nostalgia include inducing box office hit. How are they? How get... to fuck do you propose you do this? They're babbies. <laughs> Maybe maybe this is the all grown up edition of this again, which totally you did very think... well the first time they did it. So let's try it again. That show was weird. Like seeing Tommy <laughs> with hair was weird. It was very weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just called Rugrats. So there's no subtitle. I think they're I... babies still and live action. This is going to be like, look who's talking or something. Oh, God. Ooh. Yeah. Where the or baby, baby geniuses, look, and then like they're just like dubbed they over. Have, yeah, it, human it, mouth it, movements. Ugh, I don't like that. It's on the like Wikipedia. that TikTok filter where it's just like your eyes and your lips, and they put that on the babies. It says it is a live action CGI hybrid. <laughs> no, oh, no. that's worse. So I don't like that. <laughs> I'm thinking they got like Benedict Cumberbatch to do like the smouse. Oh my stuff. god! Like he's gonna yeah, be like crawling around. Yeah, I love Goo-goo that guy. Gaga. Yeah. <laughs> Someone needs to change he's... my line. <laughs> Dipey. <laughs> I... He's walking pigeon toed like Tommy does. Yeah. <laughs> to get into character. I. I have. I've got. It. How? Okay. I know. Now I kind of need to see watch it. Watch party. That's how we watch Here's, it. How, that's yeah. how we do this together. We, you, ha- you can't go into that alone. Here's <laughs> the thing the that's friends. already troubling. Okay. We're recording this mid-December of 2021. Of 2020. This uh-huh. comes out in January of 2021. Apparently. No that's the release date. No marketing material so far. Exactly. I didn't even exactly. know it was a thing. Yeah. That's not good. That's never a good sign. That's and yeah, movies coming out yeah. in January are usually like let out to pasture, so to speak. But 
it's a different landscape than it was than it is normally. So like mm-hmm. movies that were supposed to come out at certain times have been pushed, but who knows what it actually means. I, apparently there's a new animated series coming. In, of Rugrats? In t- early, yeah, in early what? 2021. It was supposed to premiere in 2020. Uh, the TV series and movie will include new adventures with original characters Tommy, Chucky, Phil, Lil, Susie, Angelica, Dill, Kimmy, while also introducing a new world of characters. So... Okay. Well, I'm glad they're bringing Kimmy back. Interesting. Oh. Um... I don't want it. I guess I need to watch more Nickelodeon because I don't know how this got past. This got past us. How did did that become a thing? I'm just, I'm desperately, desperately looking for a cast. Uh, Or a trailer. So I got to know what it looks like. I I got to bring back the original voice cast for for the animated series. I mean, I'm not seeing anything. I doubt it if they wanted to. uh, May 13th, 2020, Vanity Fair confirmed Nancy Cartwright would reprise her role as Chucky uh, Finster. Okay. And the show, would, uh, they said they were going to start airing in fall 2020. They announced that they were delaying it until 2021. Uh, this is apparently uh, a slew of new spinoff shows, including, you know, uh, the first of which was the new Blues Clues, which oh, I see. is actually pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I'm just although right B- now. blue is now 3D in that. Yes, it looks pretty it's okay. True. Does that bother you, Jordan? I l- I like the original mm-hmm. blue, but I get it. That's fine. I get it. it I it's still pretty cute. It's still pretty cute. Space Jam cute. 2 is coming out. Space, oh, Jam, Space 2 Jam 2 is coming out. Two, man. Come on and slam. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> and welcome to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. And welcome I'm to the brand. You don't want to come on and slam and then welcome yourself. It's coming out the gym. on on HBO Max though. You got you yeah. You don't gotta go anywhere to see it. I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. I I just wanna I wanna slam and jam on my time. I don't want <laughs> I don't want to be instructed to slam and or jam. Okay. Um. I want. You're, you're I want to wake up and I want to be like, you know what I'm gonna do today? I think I'm gonna jam. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna slam and jam today. You know, like that's what I want. Um, oh man. Uh. <laughs> Here's one. Uh, untitled Elvis film directed by Boz Lerman. <laughs> I hate it. Austin Butler beat out tons of hopefuls to win the role of the famed king of rock and roll for this biopic from Warner Brothers. That means we get to watch it. I'm uh, can you with Boz Lerman on uh... board to write and direct? It's bound to be a lush cinematic experience. Tom Hanks is also attached to the supporting role. Jordan, I need you to look at the URL right, bar right now and double check that you're not on the onion. <laughs> it's Rotten Tomatoes, baby. Oh, no, he's right. That's that's I'm that's there. the right vegetable. That's the right one. Austin oh. Butler is Elvis Presley. Tom Hanks is Colonel Tom Parker. <laughs> what? Oh my. Oh. Uh. Well, I can't. I can't think of a better way to end the episode. <laughs> no, we're just getting started. Uh, <laughs> oh man! Yeah, we Issa, got a few Issa, minutes did you left, say something? baby. Did you say you something you're say excited anything? about? I did it. I did it. I didn't say anything. I All was right. trying to think like what would be a good. Uh, it's got to be better than Jordan saying Rugrats because technically that was your answer, Jordan, and that's gonna go down in time. <laughs> yeah, no, that was a bad call, Jordan. Yeah, I'm glad you brought it up, but you fucked it. Oh man, there are no other like. Um, what is Blazing Samurai? <laughs> Starring Samuel L. Jackson, Michael and Sarah, Joe Rogan. and George <laughs> Wait. Wait. Sarah? Originally Sarah slated for release in 2017, the star-studded animation <laughs> feature will finally see the light of day in 2021. I think inspired... I might be excited about that. Nope, you're not going to like this next bit. Inspired oh. by Mel Brooks's classic western Blazing Saddles, the cast includes Michael Sarah, oh. Samuel L. Jackson, Oh. And Ricky Gervais. Go ahead, Issa. What are you excited for? Issa, please. Please say anything other than that. Make Jordan stop. <laughs> Jordan, stop talking. I'll find another one if you don't start talking. No, no, no I'll talk. I'm, I don't have um, anything like media related that is jumping out to me in terms of what I'm excited about. I think... The, this is more a bit of a personal thing, though. Mm-hmm. Um, my sister's baby is coming Aww. next year. Yay! 
Yeah. It's my first niece and or nephew, although she thinks it's going to be a boy. But um, oh. for that Christmas, means it'll be a girl. It might be a girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she just texted me um, uh, actually at the beginning of the show because uh, she was like, oh, because I gave her um, an up print uh, or a piece of art from the Pixar movie Up. Um, and she was like, oh, you gave me an idea for the baby's room. And so they're going to base it uh, off of adventure. So there'll be balloons Aww. and blimps. Aww. And I was like, oh, that's really that's cute. So... She's going to make you paint it. <laughs> You're not <laughs> wrong. It'll probably be me. <laughs> It'll be fun, though. <laughs> I, I actually wouldn't mind. This is the, uh, I think there was um, one point, my brother texted me before, uh, like a couple days ago. He goes, what are we getting, what are we getting my si- our sister? And I went, oh, I already got her something. He goes, damn it. <laughs> but <laughs> I was also. Go in on something together. To together. <laughs> um, I also uh, told him, it's like, yo, low key, I'm about to spoil this baby though. <laughs> <hell yeah. laughs> Whatever she wants, I got, I'm going to get it. Get it. <laughs> Um, before we do wrap up, one thing I want to say that I am excited about, although I don't know exactly when this is going to come out, so stay tuned, but we'll have some more news. Uh, but just cool thing, uh, Jeff and Casey, uh, Williams known for, uh, you know, a a lot of people know for doing the music in Ruby, um, the Ruby Ruby songs, um, are, uh, they're going to be doing a song for the Ark Knight soundtrack. Um, super popular game. Uh, I heard it. It's very cool. Um, so more information later but uh yeah we're really excited about it. it's gonna be cool yeah they work very hard and i think isa with that i think that's our last episode of, of 2020 you want to take us out that's our Whoa. last episode of 2020 <sighs> thanks for being here carrie thanks for being here jordan isa's thanks using her here, sentimental Kaden. voice <laughs> It's true. I don't have any <laughs> any big speeches for the end of 2020, but I just want to say thanks, guys. It's been mm-hmm. a neg- it's. I was gonna say it's been a good year, which like subjectively may or may <laughs> not be true, but I am. It's good whenever I'm with you guys, so that Aww. means I Aww. think it's a good year. <laughs> we when we look back at 2020, I think that it's gonna be important that we don't completely ignore the positives that did happen during it. Yeah. Even though the, the negatives probably other, and that's good outweighed it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> some good things happen. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Remember some of the good things. <laughs> yes. At least some. At least some. My beloved audience, if you'd like to watch other videos on the site, uh, there's plenty to love, especially also in the future as we're talking about 2021. Uh, January 8th, uh, Dead Little Roosters is premiering BT Dubs. That's so um, soon. It's so soon. It's, so it's going to be really great. It's just, it's like tomorrow, but not It's quite. tomorrow, but yeah, it's true. Yeah, Caden's right. Isa, Kaden's if you, right. if you, if you're the murderer, blink in the next two minutes. Oh, she already did. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I, what if I'm lying? What oh. if I'm lying? Secret code. <laughs> the the code ARG has started. Code. <laughs> uh, I'm the you murderer. Guys, uh, yeah, actually, <laughs> <laughs> Jordan and I smile as if we have a secret. <laughs> a secret. Oh, cool. Uh, thank you, everybody. And uh, yeah, have a good New Year's good New Year. and hopefully a better 2021 than 2020. Bye. Be safe. Be good, everybody. Let's go watch that Rugrats movie.